What's up everybody? Well, a bit of a disclaimer before the video. This was not the intended video I wanted to make on this vacuum. This is just one of those situations where even though when the listing shows the vacuum looks totally flawless, then when it gets shipped by some companies who mistreat their packages, sometimes the product winds up looking like a total train wreck when you finally unbox the thing. And that's the case with this with this stick vac. Here, right here I present to you a Hoover Quick Broom model S2141. This is another one of those eBay purchases I got. I, I wanted a, a later version of the Regina Electric Broom style of Quick Broom ever since I got my white S2095 Quick Broom 2. Just see what what the difference it is like compared to its older counterpart. Because these have a little bit stronger motors than, than the old Quick Broom 2s, or at least the lower end, my lower end model. But unfortunately, when I when it arrived, it took a massive hard hit. As you can see, it's got some cracks right here along the side of the motor casing, and the biggest, the biggest damage of all, which almost prevents this thing from even being usable, is this big, large crack chunk in the fan chamber housing down to the, or at least mostly towards this little neck down here where it connects into the floor head, which that is what basically made this not usable anymore. And which I tried to do my ghetto fix. I used Gorilla Glue and duct tape, which made it usable for a little bit for the time being. But as you see, it's getting more and more worse for wear to the point I'm getting to the point where I'm just gonna just part this thing out I probably sell everything on eBay. And I thought I'd make this video just to show you what's left of the vacuum, maybe give you a little bit of a running demonstration before I decide to disassemble it all together and sell it for parts. Believe me, I did not want to make this video. In fact, I wanted this to look more like the, the white quick room two, only blue, because this is essentially the same style of that but it's a little bit older than my S2571. So this vacuum, let me show you the model number right here. Let's see if I can do it without breaking anything. Ugh. Right, here's the model number on it. It's Uber Cleaner model S2141, four amps. Serial date on this thing. Is dated of April of 1994. Right here, this red switch is for your your brushes inside the the rug and bare floor tool. Basically, you just put it to the rug mode, and they will they will move up and down. Let me set this back up. So right here is your dustbin. This is also one of the lower end models, so it's not translucent. So you just remove that little tab and you can pull this on out to get access into what you've already picked up. And I probably should have dumped this out while I, while I had the chance. I'll go ahead and set that up to the side and we'll pick it up later. But anyway, right there you have this upper cloth almost an outer bag assembly right up here that's so it can trap most of the fine d dirt and debris on the top and which this top portion is spring loaded so you can press down to kind of to shake most of the dirt off so it'll fall down into the dust bin which was the way of these old bagless direct air style machines back then. Yes, this is a direct air. There's actually a, a fan that sits down in here that that 
that where the dirt enters and it blows into the dustbin. That honestly worked better for bag vacuums than it did bagless. But hey, it was the late 80s, early 90s, what can you expect? Right down here you do have your Hoover rug and bare floor tool. Very similar, like all the quick brooms and a lot of the canisters they use this. This is one of the lower end models, so it is able to swivel left and right. And of course, since this head is very loosely mounted with my little duct tape fix, sometimes the, the body likes to twist. As you see the upper hand portion, I thought from the listing, but this is mostly from the light, that this would have been just a simple white color like the older quick brooms were, but turns out this is actually tan. And you can see the bottom part of the rug and bare floor tool is also tan. So a nice little contrast in key parts. Of, as you can see, the top is black when they started going to that. And the upper part of the outer bag is also black. And one thing I also like about the, the, the shaking outer bag is if you can press this down, this can also double as a cord release. So you can unravel your cord that way. And you can see on the front of the handle, it does have a red color contrast sw switch. So, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in and we'll give you a quick demo of this thing running. I normally don't like to use it that much because this is stupidly loud to the point it is unbearable to use but I don't know whether that whether or not it was because of the massive hit it took during shipment to the point it knocked the motor out of balance or that the fan is busted and needs to be replaced but to the point this thing's pretty loud even louder than the S2095. So I'm going to turn it on and you guys might want to plug your ears. Here we go.
does run very good. It's pretty noisy and it certainly picks up pretty good. But as you can see, my, my duct tape fix didn't work too good on the, on the, on the floor head because it almost wanted to come off when I went to the rug test. But it works pretty good for picking up stuff on hardwood floors. Okay, but this thing is stupidly loud and it's so flimsily slapped together after being damaged in shipment to the point I'm actually partly afraid to even use the thing. But I hope you've enjoyed what's left of this Hoover Quick Broom S2141. Be sure and stay tuned. Don't forget to like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.